Jai Gurudev. I am Vinayak Bhatt and welcome to Saptarishi's Astrology. And today's video is very very special video because many of our students are demanding uh, series of lectures. We can say okay series of lectures or a complete course, especially on the stock market. Okay, and we have already uh, done a lot of courses on the stock market like uh, uh, market forecasting, in which we have already covered like. the basics of stock market okay and uh, we have also included the application of sarvotha bhadra chakra okay and uh, some of videos are already in youtube so you can watch those videos i have also taught how to use surya kalanal chakra okay and chandra kalanal chakra now the application of these two chakras in stock market is something which is never revealed before okay so i have done lot of research on these two chakras and uh, i have shown like how we can use this surya kalana chakra and chandra kalana chakra to predict market okay again videos are already available on youtube okay so you can watch those videos or else i can do one thing uh, below the uh, title in the, in the description section i will mention the uh, youtube link of those videos so you can watch those videos also okay now that those videos are a little bit technical okay so i am recording this video today only for the beginners okay so if you are beginner and you know a little bit about jyotish okay you know about sign and houses and planets okay then you can watch this video because i am recording series of video especially on the stock market okay so i will start from very very beginning very very beginner uh, topic and then i will take it ahead for the advanced topics also so this is the first video so in this video um, i will tell you the overview of this whole content okay because see if we read our classical book so you will understand in classical books there is a section samhita grantha okay so in samhita grantha you will find the mention about the market and how we can predict uh, like uh, inflation and deflation all these things market trend okay prices about prices commodity especially they are talking about commodities okay so all these things are given in our classics only okay but now market is uh very uh, we can say this is a modern market nowadays okay so we have indexes okay so nowadays we are doing options trading future options and all these things okay the the methodology of investing is now totally changed okay so that's why we need to come up with more research in this particular area because if you apply the principles given in the samhita granth as it is then uh, maybe we can't able to predict market accurately so we need to do some modification some research work okay so you can uh, correlate those sutras the rules and you can apply those rules and sutras in the modern context okay so in today's video i will give you the overview like what are the tools or the actual methods that we can uh, use in the market forecasting okay so i will tell you some rules and about these rules only i will talk on uh, in my upcoming videos okay so let's say if i am talking in terms of classical principles only okay so i will give you reference also for this classical principles you can refer brahma samhita okay. and in uh, uh, nara samhita also you will find some content related to uh, market and uh, uh, this weather forecasting some like similar topics you will find so i will teach you how to use those principles in our current market scenarios okay so some books i mentioned already and in my upcoming videos i will give you more references okay so let's talk about the classical principle so very first thing for uh, market predictions we can use that is sankranti okay sankranti means what we know Uh, sun's ingress in the 12 signs okay sun 
or we can call it like a similar to progression okay sun will transit in every sign every month we know okay so with the sun's movement in every sign okay we can also call it sankranti as soon as sun enters into new sign okay so by creating that particular chart of the sankranti chart we can make predictions okay so that's why we call it sankranti chart we can also call it sankranti chart and depending on the uh, sun's uh, progression or we can call indus in, into these 12 signs and merging those result with the nakshatra and the weekday tithi okay of that particular day when sun enters into a new sign okay so all these details you need to note down and depending on these details you can predict the market for next whole month this is a one approach okay this sankranti method so you can apply this method for throughout year okay so i will discuss about this whole technique in detail in my upcoming videos i can and remember all these videos are free of cost you don't need to pay anything because we are conducting paid courses also in our institute okay so if anybody interested they can learn or like many people complain like they they can't afford these courses and maybe some time limitation or some monetary restrictions and all these things so for them also we are recording this whole course as a free okay so you can watch these free lectures anytime okay so this is my contribution to this jyotish uh, community enjoy these lectures learn from these lectures and apply it test it and give me feedback okay so that uh, i can come up with more uh, information and more knowledge to this community so okay so let's come back to our topic first is sankranti method second is we can make predictions for the market based on the combinations of planet in different signs okay now this is the easiest method and uh, i hope many of you already know this thing but still we will discuss these things in detail in my upcoming video and uh, next method is by using tithi alone tithi by using tithi is only like uh, we know there is a kshaya tithi and vriddhi tithi kshaya tithi means the loss of tithi and vriddhi tithi means the excess of tithi now these two concepts are very very important and by using this tithi vriddhi and kshaya concept we can predict market this is another uh, concept which we can use then another method is like the mutual positions of planets also give you a lot of hints uh, regarding the market and then whenever any planet transit into new sign okay that particular moment we call so becomes very very important so by using this entry of planets in different sign we can predict market okay this is the another concept or we can say approach then we have entry of planets in different nakshatras okay now see nakshatra plays very very important role in market forecasting so that's why whenever see generally people consider chandrama moon when whenever moon transit into new nakshatra we can use for predictions in uh, natal horoscope also we do same but in stock market moon plays very very important role but including moon rest of other planets are also equally important okay so whenever any planet changes its nakshatra that becomes very very important for the market forecasting so how to do that that i will teach okay then now this is a very noble method we can say and very easy method so that is we can predict market by the combination of weekday tithi and nakshatra okay in other terms we can also call it by using panchanga we can predict market now these are the some classical method okay which is already given in different classical books here and there okay obviously there is no complete dedicated chapter on this okay so you will find the references of whatever uh, i just told you everything is given in classical book some methods i have developed myself okay we can say it as like a research okay so those methods also i will tell you and i will discuss all these methods in detail in my upcoming video first is by using tithi pravesh chart also we can uh, predict market second by using surya kalana chakra chandra kalana chakra sarvodha chakra is also a classical method for you for predicting the market okay 
but in Srodhabar Chakra also I have developed some uh, new um, technique or approach we can say okay and I, I will also teach you some Nomansha method that is very beautiful method and you can easily predict market crashes okay and uh, uh, like my upcoming course is on uh, options trading okay now for options trading also we can use this Nomansha method now what is this Nomansha method this is never revealed before technique so nobody is using this technique which I will teach in my course and we can uh, use this technique for the options trading whether you are option buyer or seller we can use this method this this, this particular method is reserved for my uh, paid courses so obviously maybe in some videos I can give that whole thing for the uh, free lectures also but let's let's do uh, classical principles first okay then I will teach rest of other methods okay so today's video is just an introduction video like whatever uh, what we can learn in my upcoming video so if you have any suggestions any doubts or any particular topic which you feel that is important for the market forecasting you can comment okay I will also teach I will also include that particular topic in my lectures thank you